excessive bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine. The small intestine typically has a relatively low level of bacteria. It is the largest section of the digestive tract. It's where nutrients are absorbed in the bloodstream. It's also where there's a malabsorption of nutrients, which are B12, iron, thymine, niacin, and some other fat-soluble vitamins. Let me give you some SIBO factoids. SIBO is present in about 9% of the people with celiac disease in the U.S. There's a direct correlation between people who take proton pump inhibitors. I'm going to give you one caveat. SIBO can cause leaky gut. Leaky gut can cause SIBO. Fantastic, uh, you know, laying of the groundwork there because, you know, SIBO sounds like its name, as you described, an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine. I think the first thing that confuses people though is what, like, what is this bacteria? People always think if, if, if bacteria is causing a problem, we call it bad bacteria. But then when we get medical about it, what does that actually mean? It's not pathogenic bacteria that are overgrown. It's, so it's not a typical standard infection. It is bacteria that would normally be existing there in our digestive tract that now has overpopulated, overgrown, overcolonized. Balance has gotten off. And when that happens, they can cause all sorts of problems, interfering with digestion and absorption, which you explained occurs in the small intestine.